Imagine my great surprise when I found out that there is no video review of this particular yo-yo. Hi guys, welcome back to the Definitive Yo-Yo. I'm Simply Mike, and today we take a look at one of the greats. This is the Mark Mike Classic by One Drop Yo-Yos, MMC for short. If you spend any amount of time in the yo-yo community, the name One Drop has definitely come up. They're like the third biggest name in yo-yo behind Yo-Yo Factory and Duncan. They certainly have the prestige. They have the dedication. They have innovation. And more importantly, they have the back catalog of yo-yos. Check some of these out. One Drop has been in the game since 2007, and what makes them unique is that they still manufacture machine their own yo-yos. Here is the MMC, one of the most prolific, recognized, and fascinating yo-yos of the modern era. I mentioned innovation, and the Benchmark series brings that to bear with similar spec yo-yos, but different shapes and also a removable hub system called Side Effects where you can personalize and play with the weight distribution of your yo-yo. The MMC arrived to me with ultralights, but I wanted to switch it up and I opted for the spikes. Glad they had some left at the uh, OneDrive website. Mark Montgomery has been rolling with One Drop from almost the beginning. One Drop's first yo-yo was the project, which released in 2007. A few months later was a Mark Mont version of it. A little later came the Mark Mont Next. But these first two yo-yos ascribed to an older aesthetic. My research indicates that around 2011, one Drop and CLYW were both making a name for themselves, coming into greater public knowledge. Jensen Kimmett was gaining notoriety by winning some titles, so a collaboration was deemed viable, giving us this Markmont or Willie Markmont. And finally, in 2014, we see the release of the Markmont Classic, which embraces fully the modern aesthetic for yo yo's. We'll talk about what that means in just a few. Fully modern, a little older, yes, but still incredibly valuable because I just saw one that sold on the BST for $100. The goal was to modernize a classic yo-yo, and there are two elements that lends itself to that. First, we have the shape, which adds to that classic feel, and other features include that flat outer surface on the rims. The modern features include the response, size, dimensions, and its play dynamic. But to really understand what's special about this yo-yo, we have to talk shapes. There are four principal shapes in modern yo-yo. The first is the V shape. That's mostly for competition. Next we have the W. Also good for competition. Coming in, the third is our H shape. Again, good for competition. Starting to notice a pattern. And finally, we have the organic or O shape. This is the only shape that doesn't immediately lend itself to a competitive play. Now these yo-yo shapes tend to pull string away from the body and reduce friction. And in this example, there is a modest step away from the response. But the Mark Mark Classic does it in a larger way, a big way. Notice this large step away from the response, reducing friction. When we're talking about string drag, string layering, or horizontal play, that's definitely a key feature that you'd like to see in a competitive yo-yo. I don't know if competition was one drop's first intention, but this is definitely up there as a top competitor. And since we're talking about it, let's check the specs. Noteworthy are the side effects, and the price is variable because it's a little hard to catch. 
their width and diameter makes it fine by today's standards. But when this thing released in 2014, it was a bit of a beast. So yeah, Mark Montgomery is a legend in the yo-yo community. But for real though, ain't nobody gonna say nothing about the hair. For real, nothing. I think we should take a minute to see how follically diverse this dude really is. Roll that montage. So in the end, this yo-yo is dependable without being overly aggressive. And it rides the line between being comfortable and chill on one side and expertly competitive on the other side without sacrificing either aspect. There is still a lot of hype for this yo-yo even though it's approaching seven years old. And does it live up to the hype? Well, coming in as a late bloomer, I would say yes. I found the yo-yo to be well balanced, very powerful without feeling sluggish, and very maneuverable without feeling floaty. This thing is super capable. It's just all around good. No, let me change that. It's not all around good. It's all around excellent. Prior to this, older yo-yos didn't really interest me. I'm the type of person that like stays in the moment and just moves forward. But this thing, yeah, it's definitely worth a look back. No regrets. Okay, before we put a bow on it, let's see what we're getting into for next time. I don't know if this is a zipline only production or did SF have a hand in it as well. But whatever it is... Simply Mike finally got a cadence. We're going to check out the BMC in the next video. Guys, stay tuned. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for me. I can't imagine anybody being on the fence about this yo-yo. It does live up to the hype. So, by all means, dive right in. This has been the Mark Mock Classic Yo-Yo Review. I'm Simply Mike, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.